Good morning and happy Friday to everyone who's tuning in this morning for our morning prayer and devotion, our last opportunity to pray together for this week. And I thank God for each of you who have decided to join with us today. And as you're signing on here, I'll begin to go through our uh, prayer needs uh, as quickly as possible here this morning. Uh, we have unspoken requests for Brother Virgil Pulliam, a need in his family. Uh, also, Lana Lane, uh, Jessica O'Hare, uh, both needing a special move of God in a situation in their lives. Uh, Pastor Chuck Clark's job situation, let's keep praying for him. For Tracy, uh, needing to sell her home. Mike Hodge, also needing to sell his house. Uh, we're praying for our North American and Global Missionaries again today. Let's lift up Bradley and Patricia Gray um, and Brother Schwartz, who are uh, on deputation currently in the United States. The Tamias and Pattersons in Ukraine need God's protection uh, continued upon them and favor uh, for the ministry there in the midst of the war with Ukraine and Russia. The Heishen family are missionaries to the military families in Germany. Let's keep praying for them. Also, Tim and Rachel Richmond and Jerry and Ann West are Metro missionaries in Detroit Metro and Washington, D.C. Uh, let's pray for Ramiro Mercado, one of our Missouri missionaries who's planning a Spanish-speaking church in St. Louis Metro. We're praying for uh, Terry and Angela Etherton, uh, who are our North American missions focus for Missouri for the month of May. So we've been praying for them all month long. Let's pray for St. Clair uh, and for that ministry in that community today that God would continue to bless. We need to lift up those who are in nursing homes today, praying for compassionate and competent care for them and for encouragement. Uh, let's continue to lift up all of our service members, uh, Fort Campbell families, especially with deployments and recent um, training accidents taking a significant toll on the families there at the base. Uh, pray for their spirits to be uplifted today. Also, Grace's husband, Johnny, is doing basic training right now in Texas. Uh, we're praying for Mark Mitchell, Johnny's nephew, who's stationed in uh, the Sea of Japan, uh, in the Navy there. Judy and Mike's grandson, Andrew, is stationed in Romania. And so we pray God's protection upon our troops this morning. We need to pray for peace and comfort for uh, the Roberts and Varela families and also the Noel Mitchell family. Uh, and the Elledge family, as each of these uh, families are grieving the recent loss of a family member. Brazio asked for prayer for his community uh, due to loss of life, houses, and crops from Cyclone Freddy. So let's cover uh, those needs in our prayers today and pray for God's strength and help for those who are in need this morning. Uh, I'm asking you to pray for travel mercies for uh, myself and the ministry team uh, from GBWC that will be traveling to and from Kabul, Missouri tomorrow uh, for the singing at the gazebo in downtown Kabul. Uh, we're ministering there, and uh, they're having a barbecue there. If you're in the Kabul area, uh, everything's free. Just come out and, and enjoy, and there will be some giveaways and things going on uh, as well as the barbecue. So we encourage you to come. If you're in the area, we'd love to meet you. And, uh, and see you there. And our spiritual and family needs this morning, uh, also in need of travel mercies, uh, Carmen and Grace uh, traveling extensively this week and next week. And um, this is not uh, for pleasure, but they are dealing with some heavy issues in their life right now that require uh, significant um, travel over long distances and have to make many connections along the way. So let's pray for everything to go well for them. And let's pray for the Boland family, uh, one of the newest families at our church, that God will continue to work uh, in their lives. Jenny Perkins' sister Lisa has need of mental, emotional, and spiritual healing. We continue to pray for Jennifer and Brenda's family for uh, continued revival and salvation in that family. J.R. Johnson, uh, Judy's daughter Jennifer and her family. And by the way, uh, a need that she posted this week. An unspoken request uh, was worked out that very same day. We thank the Lord uh, for that. Sister Pam's family needs our prayers today. Let's 
pray for Beulah Ziegler's granddaughter and Judy Johnson's grandson, Cheryl Chance's family and friends, Lexi, Jean, uh, Marsha and Britt's granddaughter, Addie, and Marsha and Britt's entire family need our continued prayers. Let's lift up Grace's best friend's family, praying for wholeness and peace in relationships. Annette and Dave, the Clark family, uh, Paula's husband uh, needs healing of mental health issues. William, Frank, Dawson, Charles, Ashley, Josh, and Alan are all battling addiction. We're praying for destiny as she needs to grow in her relationship with God. Let's lift up our Mingo Job Corps students and alumni, our Mingo RCF residents, uh, Mark and Caitlin, Matt and Michaela, Regina Marlin's family, the Sappingtons, uh, Debbie Biddick's family, and Rebecca Williams' mom, Dana, uh, needs divine intervention in her life. We're praying for many health needs today for Michelle Clark with Wegener syndrome, Mara Sullivan with lupus and autoimmune cerebritis, uh, Doug Seabalm, I believe with liver or kidney issues, Sarah Seabalm uh, has had recent hip surgery, uh, Mike and Tony Hodge, George Tibbs, Devin Huff, Shirley Garner, Judy Williams' brother, Robin, Janet, Sheila Sadler, and Shirley Perkins, all with health needs as well. Uh, Sharon Downing is on hospice care, and now Kristen's cousin Daryl has been put on hospice as well. Let's keep praying for him and for Sharon. Uh, we're praying for continued recovery today for Johnny's nephew Joey, Sheila Sappington, Tina's mother, Carmen's cousin Kelly, Evangelist Billy Huey, Buddy Randolph, Wayne Owens, and Anthony Sifford, all recovering from the effects of stroke. Uh, Carmen's cousin Shannon, Michelle Strain's sister Cindy have both had major surgery recently. Milena's mom had recent shoulder surgery and has had kidney function issues and deterioration in um, uh, her dementia situation since that time as well. Pastor Christopher Dew needing a miracle as he continues to battle Guillain-Barre syndrome. Uh, Seth, let's keep praying for him to regain feeling in the one finger that's still lacking. Kathy Hardy, uh, recovering from a broken hip. Dalton, recovering from uh, a broken back that he sustained in a car accident. And Pastor David Kent is partially paralyzed and going through rehab in Georgia after a fall on icy pavement last December. Jewel, uh, also recovering from broken bones. She broke her ribs and shoulder um, not too long ago and is recovering from those injuries. Let's pray for those who are dealing with stomach issues, those who are battling cancer. Um, Judy can update me if she knows the answer to this. Don was supposed to have, Don Williams was supposed to have basal cell carcinoma removed yesterday. So if that was the case, we're praying for his uh, recovery. But I do know things get rescheduled quite frequently from our prayer list. Um, let's lift up the others who are battling cancer, including Michelle Strain, Sister Cindy, Tony Nelson, Marcia's friends, grandparents, Gladys Sims, Amy Dees, Bob Stanley, Melissa Petzo, Cheryl, Diane Escher, Heather, Dennis Phelps, Sherry, Dwayne Lewis, Claire, Alice, Scott Lucia, Kristen's friend Betty, Ari Bowers, Donna Hayes, Jamie Joe's grandfather, Johnny's cousin Kathy, Kristen's aunt Jean, and Christy Smith, and also praying for Darlin, Virginia, who are going through precautionary chemo and radiation treatments. Let's lift up those who continue to battle diabetes. There are no new names to add to that list, and we're all familiar with each of those who are on the list, so let's keep lifting them up today. Uh, praying for those with MS and dementia. Uh, Vivian and Kristen's friend's dad and Johnny Nelson's mom also suffer with dementia as well as Milena's mom, who we already mentioned. Uh, those with Parkinson's disease need our continued prayers. Um, Chase and Sherry are needing um, prayers for liver issues, very severe uh, liver disease. Sherry is needing a transplant. Chase is in stage four liver failure. We're praying for the children on our list again today, that God would continue to um, work in their situations and also strengthen their families today. Uh, heart issues remain the problem for David Duggar, uh, who just had a recent heart attack and a cardiac calf the following day. 
uh, Bud Taylor, Don and Betty Cossey, Jimmy Warren, Amy Dees, Michelle Strain's mother, Cheryl Lachance, Mark Morris, Kelly B, Jamie Parrott's nephew Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, and Mike Sappington waiting for a heart transplant. Let's lift up those uh, who are dealing with mobility issues and arthritis, uh, those with back problems. Let's pray for Edwin Lopez at this mass on his lung that they do believe is non-cancerous, that it will continue to respond to medication and breathing treatments, and that he will be completely well. Also, Rebecca, Gary, Kendra, and Robbie have chronic lung issues, and Bob Elm has been in the hospital with infection and breathing difficulties. We're praying for Robert Holding, our prayer partner in New York, uh, for God's continued strength for him and healing of his nerves. He's seeing a specialist for this. Ben Ramey's stepdad, Tom, is having memory deterioration issues. Carrie's husband, Chris, needs healing of blood pressure issues. Paula is needing a knee surgery, uh, and this has been delayed due to insurance issues. So let's pray that that all works out. Keep praying for Regina Marlin, Bob Perkins, and Marcia's neighbor, Carol, who are all battling shingles. Uh, Judy Ogeki from Nigeria has an unspecified uh, need that she wanted us to add her to the prayer list for. And uh, Denai Kimalot, and I apologize if I'm not saying that uh, correctly, um, needs a creative miracle in the bones and skeletal frame. So let's add that need uh, to our list this morning that was uh, submitted to us yesterday after we had already uh, finished our prayer time. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being with us for morning prayer once again. I so much appreciate each and every one of you. Good to see you, Kristen. Uh, Mom and Dad, Sister Jessica is with us today. Johnny with us this morning. Uh, Marcia and Judy are with us uh, so very faithfully. Thank God for each of you. Terry Nelson, uh, Ben Ramey, Jamie Joe, Sherman, um, Sister Pam, if I didn't mention you, glad to have you with us this morning. What a great representation of our prayer team on this Friday as we head into what I'm sure is a busy week, busy weekend for all of us. Uh, I thank you for taking time on this uh, Friday morning to be with us for prayer. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, and then I'm also going to read um, Colossians 3, 17. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I'm reading from the New King James this morning. Colossians 3, 17. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. You know, whatever we do repetitively, whether that's biting our nails or making time to exercise, those things slowly become a habit over time. And habits have strength. We talk a lot about bad habits and those who uh, are trying to overcome bad habits uh, understand the strength of them, even to the point that a habit can become an addiction. Uh, but uh, there can also be positive habits uh, or even positive addictions. The, the Bible said that uh, Paul said of one group in the New Testament that they were addicted to the ministry of the saints. So that's actually a compliment within that context. 90% uh, of our thoughts are repetitious. They are repetitive. We have those same thoughts over and over again. So our thought patterns can even become uh, very strong um, and habitual in nature. So we have to think about the things that we think about. The thoughts on the feedback loop in our mind often come out in our words. And it's always the case, garbage in always leads to garbage out. If we think about all the junk in our lives, then complaints are likely to come out of our mouths. If we think about all the things that we're grateful for, then gratitude will be evident in our life. And gratitude is a fierce weapon against our enemy. You know, the enemy comes, Jesus said, to steal, kill, and to destroy our joy that we talked about yesterday. And gratitude is a weapon against the enemy. You know, since life is hard, 
uh, cultivating a grateful heart is not always an easy task, but it is well worth the effort. And if we recognize it as the weapon that it is, uh, we can be more dedicated to that. Our enemy wants us to give in, give up, sink into hopelessness, depression, and despair. But if we keep noticing the good and we keep looking toward our Redeemer, the Lord Jesus Christ, then our hope will never be consumed by hopelessness. Our commitment and diligence to be grateful is a lifetime game changer. The Bible tells us to give thanks in all things, for this is the will of God for us. And when you hear that scripture on the surface, and I've heard it misquoted many times, and when we think of it in those terms, I'm supposed to thank God for everything, all the bad things in my life, really. I'm supposed to give thanks for all things. Actually, it doesn't say give thanks for all things, but it says to give thanks in all things. This is a reflection of our childlike and confident trust in the trustworthy one our Lord and Savior. When I choose to give thanks in all things, I choose to release the reins of my control and surrender to the one who loves me the most. And so I encourage you this morning, as I've been encouraging our congregation, develop the habit of having a grateful heart. Never let it be said of us that we are unthankful. Uh, will this weapon against our enemy today, and it will be uh, a source of great change all of your days if you will make that your uh, priority. It is your prerogative. Make it your priority today. Let's go to the Lord right now with thankful hearts. Lord, we thank you today for another day. I thank you that you woke me up this morning and that I'm in my right mind. I thank you, Lord, that you've given me peace about situations in my life that no one else could have even begun to address or offer me any hope but you are there and I thank you for that I thank you for all of your blessings I thank for thank you for the way that you've taken care of my family financially I thank you Lord for good health today and I thank you for your uh, your strength upon each family member today and God what you're doing in each of our lives individually what you're doing in us collectively and I give you the praise God for all that you're doing in our local church and what you're doing in the church universal today. Lord, it's all because of you. All glory and all honor belongs to you. There's no good thing that dwells in us except for your presence. And we thank you for your presence that makes a difference in us today. We believe today, God, that you're moving on behalf of all these needs that we have mentioned. For every service member uh, that is on this list today that we've called out today in prayer, we Thank you for them, and we pray, God, your protection, your strength, your wisdom, your covering over them today. God, we lift up those who are in nursing homes and in long-term care facilities. We're praying this morning, God, that they would be strengthened and encouraged, that they would receive compassionate and competent care today. We pray for our global missionaries, for our North American missionaries. We lift up Brother and Sister Schwartz. We lift up Brother and Sister Gray today, we pray, Lord, for the Haitian family. We lift up Brother and Sister Tomyev and Brother and Sister Patterson today in Ukraine. We pray for our missionaries in the metro areas, Ramiro Mercado and his family, and the uh, Richmonds and the West families ministering, Lord, in these uh, dense, densely populated uh, city areas today. We pray for those in the rural areas such as Brother and Sister Etherton and St. Clair, God, that you would just continue to bless that work and that it would become fully established in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, for the unspoken needs today, for Jessica's need, for Brother Pulliam's need in his family, for Lana Lane. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you are with them today and you're moving in those unspoken requests. We pray, Lord, for Pastor Chuck Clark's job situation. We pray, God, for Mike Hodge, that he would be able to sell his home. For Carmen's sister, Tracy, that she would be able to sell her home quickly. We believe, Lord, that she's able to sell it above or at the asking price. In the name of Jesus, we pray for peace and comfort for the Roberts and Varela family, the Noel Mitchell family, the Elledge family, 
and for Brazio and his community that's lost so much of, uh, due to Cyclone Freddy. We pray, God, for restoration in those communities and for assistance to reach them as there's been much loss of life and property and crops. We pray, Lord, for uh, for Sister Carmen and for Grace as they are traveling and as they are dealing with uh, with uh, heavy situations that are weighing on their mind today. God, cover them and protect them as they travel and give them clarity of thought and word and instruction over the next week. We pray, God, that you would let your traveling mercies be with us, your angels to go before and behind us and on either side of us, Lord, as we travel for ministry tomorrow. We pray, God, there be a great outpouring of your spirit in Kabul. Let there be a breakthrough for that local church life sanctuary through the singing and through the ministry tomorrow. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, for those who have spiritual and family needs this morning. We believe, God, for Sister Pam's family, for Judy's daughter Jennifer and her family, for JR, for Jennifer and Brenda's family, the Bolins, Jenny's sister Lisa. We pray for Cheryl's family and friends, for Beulah's granddaughter and Judy's grandson, Gene, Lexi, Addie, and Marcia and Britt's entire family today. We lift up in prayer. We pray for the Clark family, for Annette and Dave, for Grace's best friend's family. We pray, Lord, for Paula's husband, for deliverance from mental health issues. We pray, God, for those who are battling addiction today. In the name of Jesus, let those chains be broken from their lives. We lift up our Mingo RCF residents and our Job Corps students. We pray for destiny, God, that she would grow in her relationship with you. We pray for Mark and Caitlin, for Matt and Michaela, for Regina's family. We pray for the Sappington family, for Debbie Biddick's family today, for Dana. God, that you would move in her life. In Jesus' name, Lord, move in each of these health needs today. You see Kristen's cousin, Daryl, and Sharon Downing on hospice care. Be with them and with their families today. We pray your physical touch upon Sheila Sadler, Shirley Perkins, Janet, Robin, Judy's brother, Shirley Garner, Devin Huff, George Tibbs, Mike and Tony, Doug and Sarah Seaball, Mara Sullivan and Michelle Clark. Lord, you're able to do anything and whatever their needs are today, God, you're able to make them completely whole. We give you the praise and we thank you for every strike that you took upon your back. For we know that it was for our healing. Your word proclaims that with your stripes we are healed and we claim that promise today of your word. We believe for continued recovery for Pastor David Kent, for Jewel and Dalton and Kathy, for Seth, for Pastor Chris Dew, for Melena's mother, for Michelle Strange's sister, uh, for Carmen's cousin Shannon, for these who have suffered stroke, Anthony, Wayne, Buddy, Evangelist Billy Huey, Kelly, Tina's mother, Joey, and for Sheila Sappington. Lord, you are the mighty God Hallelujah, there's nothing that's too hard for you. You're able to restore every bit of function to every limb, to every uh, function, every neural function today. God, you're in control of it. And we believe, God, we believe for Anthony's swallowing to uh, to be better. We pray, God, for his vocal cord uh, to wake up and function properly. In the name of Jesus, we believe for healing of stomach issues today, for Aubrey and Natalie, for Olivia for Savannah, for Ginger and Michael and Heather, for Amber Kay, in Jesus' name. We believe, God, for Darla and Virginia, for their precautionary chemo and radiation treatments to go well. We pray for all those we've mentioned today who are battling cancer, Lord, that they would receive a touch in their body today, a miracle touch in the name of Jesus. We pray for healing of diabetes for Cindy and Lloyd, for Tim for myself, for Steve Cummins, for Anthony Williams and Michael Williams, for my Aunt Emily Stanley. We lift up Evie and Rose, Becca and Christina, JR, Natalie, Grady. We believe for healing of Grady's vertigo as well, Lord, that he would be able to return to work. We pray for Cheryl a chance and Jimmy Warren, for Brother Pulliam, for Christian and Titus today. You're the healer of every type of disease. Hallelujah. Reach down, Lord, and touch the pancreas right now and let it begin to produce correctly. Hallelujah. Let those A1C scores begin to come back into normal range. 
We trust in your healing power. We pray for those who are battling with illness, Riley and Tracy, Marty and Sarah, in Jesus' name. We believe for healing of dementia, for Vivian, for Kristen's friend's dad, for Johnny's mom, for Melena's mother today. We believe for a touch for Melena, Lord, that her back would be healed today. And each of the others on our list who are dealing with back pain this morning, you see Johnny and what he's been dealing with, Terry and what she's been dealing with, with uh, back issues and pain in their body. We pray for those who are dealing with uh, mobility issues and arthritis. Uh, touch Rose and June and Sister Judy's mother, Sammy and Sheila, Chris and Renee. In Jesus' name, you are well able, God. We lift up Brianna and Gary. We pray for Michael and Lori and Melena, for Carolyn and Becky and Rebecca, for Bob and Britt and Cindy, for Jenny, all of these suffering with back pain. We claim victory for them right now in Jesus' name. Victory over migraine headaches for Beth and Marcia, for Marcia's co-worker son in Jesus' name. For Melena today, God, those with liver problems, Chase and Sherry, those with Parkinson's disease, reach down and touch them today. Touch Beulah right now, God. She needs a miracle in her body. Vivian and Russ and my dad need your touch today. Matt and Tim and Joey, Lord, they need healing of Parkinson's disease. We give you the praise and the glory. We're believing for you to touch these children today. Bailey, May, and Abram, Abel, Arlo, Tano, Brantley, Elsie, Lorelei, Jenna, Tucker, Navy, Milo, Baby Dallas, Baby G, Gus's grandson, and Abby. Uh, Darla's granddaughter, Tammy's granddaughter, Emily, Tina, Lisi. Lord, you are uh, greater than any problem that these children are dealing with today. Help their families. Strengthen them this morning, we pray. We lift up those with heart issues today. We believe for full recovery for David Duggar, for Bud Taylor, for Don and Betty, Jimmy, Michelle's mother, Amy D, Cheryl, Brother Mark Morris, Kelly B, Janie Parrott's nephew, uh, Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, Mike Sappington, Joyce Fisk, and Sister Patty Arnold. In Jesus' mighty name, we believe for healing of the lungs for Rebecca, Gary, Kendra, Robbie, and Edwin. For Bob Elm, who's in the hospital with breathing, breathing difficulties and battling infection. We lift up Robert Holding, believing for healing of his nerves. We pray for Chris again today for healing of his blood pressure. For Tom, for healing of his memory issues. We pray for Paula that she would be able to have the knee surgery that she needs or that she would receive a divine healing today. We pray for Carol and Regina and for Bob Perkins battling with shingles. We lift up Judy Ogeki in Nigeria today. God, move in her need today. We pray for Denai Kimalot today that there would be a creative miracle in the bones, in the skeletal frame, that complete healing would be received today by faith in your name. We give you the praise and the glory for hearing our petitions today. We thank you and we worship you. Help us, God, to be in a habit of gratitude. Lord, to cultivate those feelings of thankfulness and not to focus upon the problems, but to focus upon you as you are the solution, Lord, to everything that we face in this world. And we give you the praise and glory for all that you're doing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, prayer team, for being with us all week long. You're so faithful, and I appreciate it so very much. I'll see you again here, Lord willing, Monday morning at 7.30 a.m. Let's go back now and review all the requests that may have been posted as we prayed and add those to our prayer today in Jesus' name. I'll see you Monday.